and welcome to Spider McGann Ports channel. This time, another wonderful product review is by Tom Love, Digital Microscope, model number TMDM10. We'll page through the manual real quick and then we'll go ahead and see the device itself and go through some of the specifications. I like that the screen itself and the camera is actually battery operated. You know, you don't have to have plugged in the entire time. That's awesome. So that's all that you get inside here. Um, my actual stand right here, what they call five a holder, is you, you'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll point it out here in a little bit. What's going on with it? And I'm sure that I just need to adjust the little lock ring on it right here. And that therefore, and as this is not properly lined up, I wasn't able to actually utilize these. So I took it out and I was working on other things and I find that these are actually more of a... Um, Something that you want to use them for, like only when you need them to install them. Otherwise, I, I just take them off the actual uh, plate, the base plate. Yeah, this thing is awesome, by the way. Uh, it does not connect to the actual PC. You have to use a micro USB card, and then you have to remove the card and, and put it back into your console. You, you know, you have to swap it back and forth back and forth so keep that in mind when you're using this and when you, if you would feel like purchasing this particular product to know that it does not connect to the PC at all this is all just for um, power So we're just going to go right through this really quick. If you need a little more time on it, go ahead and feel free to hit the pause button. And if this is um, not something you're really interested in, just go ahead and hit the fast forward button. Or watch somebody else's stuff. <laughs> it's all good. Just here to help everybody out. Make an informed decision on whether or not you would like to, uh, like to have this particular model. microscope because it's not like it's um it's a different type of microscope it's not the type of microscope that you would use for um biological organisms things like that it, it's not that type of microscope it's a more of a for hobby enthusiast stuff like that here's that i have a lot of challenge coins and i would love to get really really nice macro images of my challenge coins and to I don't know, just to share it on my other media sites not just YouTube but for like TikTok and a bunch of other places yeah the resolution I can't believe that man 1080p for it at 30 frames actually actually at 60 hertz too so that's really awesome you could do 50 or 60 so it would actually um, display at PAL rates too so that I'm surprised that this is not multilingual you know like anyway that's awesome but all right here we go we're looking at the camera and we'll bam that's what it looks like this is an actual feed from it and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll make a marker for myself on screen so that when I hit the record button I can match it up and we're recording. So now what I'll do is I'll split the screens and so that you'll have this as your main viewing and then this camera as a secondary. It's supposed to pick up um, audio too. Uh, sorry, this device is supposed to pick up audio but it does not. At least not so far that I've worked with it. But yeah, as I'm going through is that this is what I'm, I've wanted for so long is to actually 
go through macro image our favorite beloved video games and this is Star Fox 64 as you, as you can see Star Fox 64 and just previously I worked on was it I beholder for the Game Boy and it actually had a bad contact pad where it looked really really bad and then here we go we polished it up and cleaned it and sure enough it played immediately as soon as we put it inside the console and I just wanted to share this for helping ourselves out later on down the road if we're really looking at something and we see it and like okay that looks like oh great we gotta re rework something you know we can go ahead and do that and just soldering underneath this is going to be it's going to be perfect but let me let me show what I was telling you about having problems with it is that this base is not lined up properly because of that you know that that part right here it just it doesn't line up yet so I'll have to take it apart and reposition some stuff but otherwise it's just an absolute fantastic you can move the screen the screen is yes attached to the actual lens you could change the, the uh, the fine tuning of it right here so you can see this how about hmm yeah let's do the text real quick of this actual chipset here so we can see that it records at See how fine you can actually get that corrected in at? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just absolutely just mind blown of how awesome this is going to be for the channel and how much we're going to be able to accomplish he's like no more just obscure looking at something like okay that's not supposed to be there right but now we could tell that it's actually gonna we're supposed to be there no more surprises can actually see the uh, yeah, the color combinations too on like resistors and stuff. It's just mm. I hope moving this around like this isn't actually causing anybody to have any motion sickness or anything, but yeah, absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. Yeah, time love. I, yeah, I absolutely love this microscope. It's awesome. Recording at 1080p, yeah, all the way. And now all I need to do is just match this video up with this in edit, and it's just like, that's gonna be so helpful. Here's the audio setting I was referring to.
you hit your menu button twice in order to get here. Okay. Different languages. Like I said, I thought for sure that the manual would at least have, you know, multiple languages in it. And to finish this all up, I would just like to say thank you all so very much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Be healthy. Stay safe. Happy holidays, everyone.